Hey guys, welcome to my Sunday, and today I thought about flying some drones and talking to you about my new lens I got. So you've probably been wondering where I've been for the past like three or four months. I've been working almost every day this summer. So let me tell you about my new lens. It's the Canon 50mm Prime, or some say the Nifty 50. A lot of beginners get this lens for first the affordability and secondly it is a really good lens to start videography. The backstory about this lens is pretty hilarious and let's get to it. So the backstory about this lens is I actually broke it. This was my friend's. Shout out to Connor Thomas if you're watching this video and go subscribe to him. He's in the link description if I remember. This what happened to this lens is I was taking some photography shots for a class. At the time of the accident I was carrying a boatload of equipment back to my dorm, dorm room and I had to unlock the door with my wallet. So at the time this lens was on a book and I was holding the book on my hand and when I got my card out to scan the door this lens fell. It didn't, it didn't fall very far. It fell probably from, from my knee down but it was just enough for this part right here to pop off. The first thing I did was freak out. Oh my goodness, I just broke my friend's lens and I didn't know how much it was. But when I found out how much it was, I then, okay, I then took a breath and I'm like, okay, it wasn't expensive, I can afford this. And this is the best thing about this lens. The secondly, I didn't give my friend, I didn't, I didn't take my friend's lens for breaking it. I, get, I bought him a new one. I bought him a totally new one. It probably works more better than this one right here. I actually fixed this lens by popping this part back into it. What it is is just plastic. It's all plastic. There's very minimal glass in this lens right here. You can see right through it. It can go down to 1.8 aperture. And this is good if you're using for low light situations. First of all, this lens right here does not come with STM. What that means, it doesn't stabilize the footage. So whatever you get in camera is gonna be probably a little bit shaky. So you wanna be a little bit more smoother with this type of lens. But the new ones that are just a little bit more get that stabilization. And it's not too expensive. The affordability of this lens is astonishing. So lesson learned, I bought him a new lens and I gave it to him. First of all, he didn't really care if it was broken or not. So I gave him the new, new lens because I, I wanted to be a good sport about it. A lot of wedding videographers wouldn't use a 50 millimeter prime. First of all, it doesn't crop enough to get in most situations so, because most wedding venues aren't huge. They're very small outside and they need a lot, they, you need to crop in a little more to get what is important. So most of them get an 85 millimeter or get like a really long variable lens. But if you're looking to get into like videography and maybe a some photography, I would definitely get a 50 millimeter prime. Lens aside, I want to talk to you about what my drone is. A lot of drone shots on my channel is shot with the Phantom DJI 3 standard. Or should I say DJI Phantom 3 standard. It's a good beginner drone. We got this back to like uh, two years ago and it's and it's held up multiple crashes. My brother has uh, has a lot of gr like grass stains. This is a good drone for starting out, but if you really wanted to get portability out of your equipment, I would go for the Mavic Pro. This drone is a little bit more of a hassle because you have, look at this case. You have to have this huge case to bring it. But the Mavic, you can just put it in a bag and it, you can carry it anywhere. So if you're really looking to get in drone as your first drone, I would go for the Mavic. Um, but right now we're using this, and this is just a baby brother to the Phantom 4. So roll some b-roll of the 50 millimeter, and let's go fly some drones.
watching the end of this video, please sure to leave a like and subscribe below. You guys in the ad, Wesley? Uh, no. Okay, cool. See you guys later.